everyone, Jim from Javelin here in the first of a series of videos on SolidWorks best mating practices. I have this one's called uh, Mate Before You Relate. I have here an air cylinder and what I want to do is I want to have a mounting plate on front of it. So I'm going to insert my component. I already have a piece called mounting plate. I've already modeled up just a simple mounting plate. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mate these two faces together now what I should do is I should mate this fully into position but I'm going to show you what not to do. I'm going to just roughly position it so that's good enough and now I'm going to add my holes. So if I go up to assembly features I could use hole series but the problem with this is that as you'll see in a moment this is a cut revolve it's not a hole wizard hole so it won't let me pick that so instead I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Pick on the face, edit component, go to features, make a hole wizard. I've already specified my parameters here. It's an M5 countersink. So I'm just going to drop in some points. And I'm going to add my sketch relations. This is a no-no because I'm I'm adding sketch relations to an unmated part. So don't try this at home. And here's why. You can see the holes line up. Everything seems peachy keen. But if I were to accidentally move this just ever so slightly and then rebuild, my holes have shifted. Yeah, they're still in position. But if I do this and I don't rebuild, then it's not going to line up proper. So this is why, and not only that, if I were to accidentally drag it off the end of here, or totally off the end, it gives me rebuild errors. Because of course the holes are here relative to the plate, which is why you always want to make sure that you mate before you relate.